in this topic and further few topics we are going to talk about the process of knowledge management in multinational organizations this topic is going to introduce to you the concept of knowledge transfer and the importance of knowledge transfer and knowledge management in multinational organizations you know that the world today is um is more and more becoming a, a body of knowledge and uh, knowledge is become uh, one of the most important sources of power it has always been a source of power but now in the knowledge economies it has become the foremost source of power um in uh, in the global scenario and since we are talking about international human resource management and the global scenarios therefore it is a very important aspect of the global um, uh, makeup uh, the global scenarios the global setups how knowledge in various different areas um of the world is generated and how is it managed so let's take a look at what is knowledge and how is it created and what is its significance uh when we talk about knowledge what do we uh, what are we talking about what is knowledge knowledge of doing what it's basically uh it is the expertise and knowledge on how to deal with different situations and issues so knowledge is about the understanding of how you understand a particular situation how you are able to match it with a similar situation uh, from your experience or from your education and then how you are able to apply the knowledge that you already have to solve the problem or issue or situation which is in front of you and uh, so basically the um the task of knowledge is to solve problems uh, uh the problem solving aspect of knowledge is the most important one aap kyun knowledge acquire karte hain because you are curious because you want to solve the problem aapke zehen mein questions hote hain aapke zehen mein um sawalat hote hain aur aap un sawalat ko answer karna chahte hain aur uske liye phir aap प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग प्रोसीजर से जो है वो गुजरते हैं और आपका नॉलेज बेस जो है वो एनहेंस होता है सो दैट इज बेसिकली वट नॉलेज इज दैट द एबिलिटी टू डील विद वेरियस डिफरेंट सिचुएशन यूजिंग द अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट यू ऑलरेडी हैव एंड देन अप्लाइंग इट टू दैट पर्टिकुलर सिचुएशन सो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे गेन नॉलेज इन टू वेज वन इज इंटरनली एंड द अदर वन इज एक्सटर्नली Exter internally, uh, the knowledge that is gained that is gained through experimentation. ये जो सारे research and development के departments होते हैं, इनका यही काम होता है कि इन्होंने knowledge create करना है, इन्होंने problem solving करनी है, इन्होंने कोई ऐसी innovative काम करना है जो कि पहले नहीं हुआ और किसी किसी requirement को solve करने के लिए, किसी need को satisfy करने के लिए innovation की जाती है. So innovation is always for solving some kind of problem or satisfying some kind of need so um internal knowledge internally knowledge that is acquired through experimentation and innovative ideas and it is also acquired through trainings in house trainings which are carried out to give the knowledge from one person inside the organization to another inside the organization so that these are the different types of internal um processes of knowledge acquisition then organizations acquire knowledge externally as well and they acquire that knowledge externally by their interaction with the outside world now this interaction with the outside world could be with the customers it could be with the clients it could be with the government agencies regulatory bodies it could be it could be uh with the subject experts it could be with consultants it could be uh with people who have been to certain situations uh so it can be any person or any entity outside the organization with which the organization interacts it could be the market the entire market itself it could be nations and uh, 
uh, ethnicities so it could be any entity with which when the organization interacts it understands and it learns something new which it does not know before uh, so it uh, the knowledge is acquired by uh, interacting externally with external factors um and therefore uh, the know how which is created by these interactions uh, within internally as well as externally um, with the uh, outside the organization it gets accumulated over time and it forms the organization's collective knowledge base uh and knowledge base of an organization as it grows and enhances it is essential that the knowledge base of the organization should also grow because with the same uh, set of knowledge an organization cannot grow after beyond a certain extent and when we are talking about international management uh, that is about expansion that is about uh exploring territories that is about expanding your boundaries and all that cannot be done without enhancing your knowledge base your collective knowledge base this has become more and more important because researchers and academic scholars uh have looked into this and had and they now claim that knowledge that is one of the major and some claim that is now the only source of competitive advantage it is the only source of competitive advantage because all the other things they can be uh, replicated uh, they can be uh, they can be copied um, physical structures machinery tools all these things they can be replicated uh, but the knowledge base of the organization that is that resides in the minds and experiences uh, don't forget that knowledge is made up of your experiences so a person's experiences they cannot be replicated by another person's experiences so uh, knowledge has become one of the uh, major and some say the only source of competitive advantage so therefore multinationals they are not seen as repositories of their national imprint it's not seen that an that a multinational which is for example an american organization would be american everywhere an american organization when it goes to another territory is supposed to learn from that territory and then become a hybrid form of that uh, of of american organization and the host country organization and they need to continuously learn from each other and they are considered to be instruments of knowledge transfer across the subsidiaries so wherever they go they are considered to be instruments of knowledge transfer they are a means they are highways on which knowledge is transferred from one place to the other so multinationals have a huge importance in sharing and transferring knowledge uh, in the world from one place to the other and they are considered to be instruments and that is and then contributing to further knowledge development so it's not that you just transfer from one place to the other what you do is that when you uh, gain knowledge from one place and that is transferred to the other then you build upon that new things that you have learned and then you use it for your uh further improvement and enhancement in the new location so therefore multinationals they develop knowledge in one place and exploit it in another they use that knowledge to then later on go at another place and then use that knowledge to exploit the resources of a new place and therefore this is internal transfer of knowledge and it it implies that competitive advantage is created by its ability to facilitate and manage inter subsidiary transfer of knowledge uh, so the fact that the knowledge is created in one location and it is transferred to the other location to exploit the uh, and or to utilize the uh, 
the opportunities in another place by using the knowledge which was created uh, in uh, in one place that means that the internal transfer of knowledge uh, the transfer of knowledge in between subsidiaries is something which can lead to creation of competitive advantage uh, which is what we say that knowledge is something which can create competitive advantage uh, for the multinational organizations. So this is a um, uh, little bit of inter introduction about what is the importance of knowledge and why the knowledge is considered to be such an important aspect of uh, management in, in our times.